Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Idea. And in today's lesson, we'll be discussing creating, modifying, and removing fields. And if you haven't checked out the previous five lessons, I recommend that you check those out before you watch this video. So let's get started. So here I have some data sets I've been importing and manipulating over the previous five videos. So let's go ahead and focus on this area, which is adding fields and adding fields essentially is adding new columns and it's really useful so and it's pretty simple to do so here we're going to click on append and we're going to call this uh, sales profit perfect and you'll see there's a number of different options here uh, you'll see three main categories virtual editable and then normal uh, virtual and edible basically allow you to change the fields after you've imported them after you've created them and then These ones don't allow you to do it. So the main most of the time I use virtual but the main advantage of potentially using uh, These ones is that after you've created them they become permanently embedded into the data set and If you have for example, you want to get the first 50 characters of a very long string a very long field and then you want to delete that very long field afterwards you can't do that if it's virtual or edible because that those ones are reliant on that longer string but if it's this one it automatically creates it so a little bit complicated but most of the time just use virtual uh, to create your field so here we're gonna there's numeric character date and time and exact same logic as you would apply when you're importing data. So in this case, it's numeric. It's gonna ask you for the number of decimal places. So I'm gonna put two here. And essentially what we need to do is we're gonna take sales margin, sales amount times margin percentage. And then we're gonna click evaluate. And then you're gonna see, there you go. Perfect. And now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna call it sales tax. And we're going to make it virtual numeric. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take, we're going to do an if statement. So we're going to use a function. So to use a function, we have to start with an at, and then we're going to be using the if one. And this is very similar to Excel. So what we're going to say here is if, if it's store one, then what we're going to do is we're going to take sales amount times 0.015. And then otherwise do sales amount times 0 0.05 and we can evaluate and you'll see the amounts here that correspond. So it's really simple. There's a whole bunch of different functions and features that are available. In this case, we're using if, and now you'll see how they apply differently. Perfect. So pretty, pretty simple nothing too complicated here, but really useful. Let's move on to the customer database. And say, for example, we want D dot the last name, in this case, D dot Burroughs, instead of having the full name. So here we're going to go um, name, and we're going to use as character. And then this one you have to define. Since I don't know how long the last name is going to be, uh, I'm going to put 100. And that may be a little excessive. You can also do the calculation if you wanted to ahead of time. In this case, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the left function of first name, and it's going to ask us how many characters from the left. In this case, I want one. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to then, this may not be the exact way to do it. Let's just double check. Perfect. And then I'm going to go space dot, and then I'm going to go, in this case, I'm going to go all trim. And what all trim will do is it'll remove any excess spaces. So there you go. Now we have D burrows. So it'll move any leading spaces or lagging spaces. So spaces before and after. So that way you'll just get the text in the middle. And we'll press OK. And there you go. So now you've created a new field. And there's a whole bunch of different features and functions that you could apply. I recommend that you check them out, do a bit of research, try to figure out where it works best in your particular situation. Uh, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.